All right, uh, just for curiosity here, while we have an indicator on here, let's get more room here. We're trying to choke ourselves down too much here. What we're doing, we're, we're gonna give, uh, we're gonna try to pick as close as we can to the split line. You rotate, raise and lower it at the point of your indicator until you get to the largest diameter. That, that means you're pretty well as straight on to the shaft as possible. We're going to set zero. We're just going to check our travel this way here. We want to see how it fares. Okay, we got like plus three there. Let's 180 this. Whoop. Okay. We're going to 180 this. We had three plus here. Okay, even 180 in it, we're back to 3 minus, so we're heavy over here. Now, we could go ahead, and I think we will, we're going to adjust our tailstock right off the bat, because this, this material here is miking up uh, 3 under 1 inch exactly, 3,000, so about 270, 2 and 7 tenths under there so it's pretty round and uh, the diameter is holding well so we're going to go ahead and we're going to crank it uh, we're going to crank it three thousandths over all right we moved our carriage this way here put the indicator there because we need the clearance to get to our adjustment on the tailstock and our, our adjustment is two allens here sometimes they're square heads uh, the variable uh, various set screw or jacking method on shifting your tailstock side to side. Okay. Now we wanted to come this way here, three thousandths, because we were three greater here, three less down here. And we're what we're doing is we're just backing off on this one here, and we're going to back off a little bit past, and then we're going to tighten it back down to three. We're just going to check the tension on the back side one here. All right, that's good. All right, now we're going to go ahead and recheck our run out. Okay, we got zero there. And she's holding pretty good. We're going to go ahead and 180 this again without hitting our indicator. Okay, about plus one. And zero. 180 that again. And zero. And down here, okay. So we got we got a little discrepancy on roundness, but uh, that's raw stock. We're ready to go. We're going to start taking skims, and as we take a skim cut, we're going to be measuring the diameter, making sure that we are turning a parallel or a uniform diameter shaft. Now I'm choosing to use a high-speed tool bit, and I'll be getting into grinding uh, tool bits and stuff like that here in another video. Um, so I quickly dress this one up to get it ready without showing you how I did it, but uh, this is uh, just a basic turning uh, shape to the tool bit. Alright, from about right there is where we kicked it in the 8,000th uh, per revolution to there, okay? So we're only going to measure about there, but we got... Uh, Nine forty five there. And we got nine nine forty one and a half or so. So we got about another three thousandths taper in here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jack some more in on our tailstock and continue cutting. And until we get each pass we'll check it and make an adjustment until we get that running through. Okay, we're uh, we're about twenty thousandths over on our diameter and we're pretty pretty uniform. We're about like seventy seven, seventy eight we're within one thousandths uh, there. A little heavier here than we are here, which, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. We're, we're going to be machining from here to center, and then when we flip it there to center, a little heavier in the center is no, no big deal. I mean, we do want to have a little bit of that there. All right, so uh, put that chuck wrench down, Mr. Fenner. You're not going to take that out. And uh, don't make that mistake in the middle of your project.
you're working between centers. You break the dog loose. Pull out the shim. You loosen your tail. You blow out your centers. Reapply just a little tiny bit of extreme pressure lube. Put the lid on it because the heat of the day is making that want to squirt out. Okay, now we got to turn the dog around. If we're going to be working on the other side here, I'm using the rag because the shaft is a little warm. All right. Alright, the dog's tight. Now we loosen this up just a little bit. Just enough so it doesn't rotate on its own. So all you need to hold that between the centers. Alright, we're ready to go again. Alright, but let me show you. When you're turning something around between centers, In about a half a thousand right there. Alright. That half a thousand could be uh, surface uh, <clears throat> on here. This is uh, still the core speed right here. Alright, let's get in. We're going to bring this on down and we'll start working the finish size. Took, we finished up that cut there and then uh, we kind of just like took some paper and you can see a couple little cross scratches right there. It got a pretty, it is a uniform cut and you know that was the uh, 4,000 per revolution there and we're still running about the 300 uh, uh, RPMs there on the spindle. And uh, we got uh, 758, 758, 758. Now, it is warm, so I mean it does have to cool down and it may shrink down to about 755. But we're going to go ahead and we're going we're gonna to flip this over one more time right now, bring this in, cut to the same depth that we did, and we're going to see if we can repeat that. Then we're going to cool the shaft down so we can get a good dimension on it. Seven fifty-eight, seven fifty-eight and a half, seven fifty-eight and a half, seven fifty-eight. So we're about a half a thousandth larger, but uh, we're able to into it. You saw a uniform that that blends into each other, 
I mean, I'm not hiding the fact that's uh, that's like, you know, you can see a half a thousandth different line there, and even my squiggly scratches there. I don't know if the light is is doing you any justice there or not. All right, we uh, took it over the sink and we we cooled it down in some water there, and uh, we already threw a mic on. We we're going to do that for you right now. Just getting this back in here. All right, all I did was shrink it about a half a thousandth. Uh, the uh, the eight and a half is now an eight, and the eight is now a seven and a half. Uh, so the temperature only went about one half a uh, one half a thousandth for the. I mean, I could hold my hand on it before, so it was only a couple hundred degrees. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take it to maybe three per side. And uh, and then we're going to endo it and do the same thing. Um, <clears throat> boy, this is it, it is tempting to go ahead and make another cut. Uh, we got three thousandths there, and we got three thousandths there. Real nice finish on here. So, we're going to end all this thing and we're going to take the, the other side. We're going to take another cut. Okay, what we're doing is we're the cam or the concentric that's going to mount here uh, we're going to leave that diameter alone for right now what we're going to do is we're going to try to take this down to where it's one over the nominal uh, so it'll be 751 there and we went ahead and registered uh, the readout travel dial came over and we set that and this is what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and we're going to blue two areas here right there for a line and right here for a touch off acts like bluing. All right, so we're gonna come in here. Just we're just gonna touch it. I need the light, so if it's a little bright, it's just tough. Okay, and that was 23 on the dial. <clears throat> Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go for this side here. But while we're at it, we went ahead and uh, we wanted to double check and make sure. Now here's uh, here's the other diameter that that hub rides on, and the original is almost one under. And then this dimension right here, uh, we're about a half under right there. So we're we're on size right there, and that finish is fine. Just not gloss, but it, it is a, a smooth finish. We're gonna uh, we're we're happy with that. What we're, we're gonna do now is we're gonna, we're gonna mark this and we're gonna do the same thing on this side right here. All right, little chamfer right here on the butt end here. <clears throat> 